today's game? Uh, I don't think you can prepare for weather like this. Um, w- one thing we kept saying before the game and at halftime, I think the team who wants it more will come out on top. And, you know, I always will take our guys in a battle like that. Um, you know, we got a lot of hard nosed guys who are willing to go that extra mile and do what it takes for the win. And, you know, today was a scrappy, cold, wet game. And um, I think our guys deserve a lot of credit. Um, there is always a lot of noise when Inter Miami comes to the city. How do you guys block that noise and just focus on the team? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, of course, we all know the, the guys they have on their team and, you know, world class talents. Um, but you got to treat it like another game. You know, I think something we always talk about is, you know, let's, uh, let's worry about ourselves. And we're confident the way we do things, the way we play, when we're on top of our game, we're very hard to, to play against. So um, I think you could see that on display today. Ryan, after the game from uh, Columbus last week, you guys wanted to turn this around, transport into Miami. You put in a terrific performance, including with yourself in a clean sheet. How proud are you with this, with this group? Show such resiliency after that loss. Yeah, absolutely. You know that was uh, that was a very tough night last weekend in Columbus. They're a great team, um, but as soon as the game was over, I think we tried to put a positive spin on that. You know, it wasn't our night out there. We could have been better. They were very good, um, and that's just how it goes sometimes. And you know, something I always try to say is it's never as good as it seems after a win. And it's never as bad as it seems after a loss. You know, it's a long season. There's always going to be these ups and downs. And uh, the best teams I've been on here have the ability to bounce back. And I think we did that tonight, today. uh, Ryan, uh, first of all, congratulations on the clean sheet. I think something like your 16th overall as as a professional player. Can you talk about what went right for not just you, but the back line in general? A lot of times it felt like there were a couple chances for Miami, but you guys had a lot of stuff locked down on that. Yeah, I mean... uh, we, we had a lot of guys, especially in the back, on the same page. You know, Sean and, and Andres are, are absolute monsters back there. Dylan and Kyle were, were very good as well. Um, and then Pete and Frankie in the middle. There was not many times they got through us. Um, and, and I think it's just being on the same page. A lot of communication out on the field, that always helps. And, um, you know, I think we just had a determined group today overall, from Dante and Lou up top to the guys at the back. Um, you know, we, we wanted to win today. Uh, you don't get many starts in MLS nowadays. Just talk about <laughs> just talk about being ready to, to take that start when Carlos goes out. And yeah, listen, that's that's the life of a backup goalie. You know, I've been in this position for it's my 13th year now, so it's nothing new to me. And, you know, uh, I just try to be ready at all times. And when my number's called, it's not about just coming in and hoping to play well and make a couple of plays. It's about coming and helping the team win. Um, and it's always great to, to be able to do that. Brian, obviously the playing conditions weren't the greatest today. Torrential downpour. Just how do you, as a keeper, prepare for like today? I think I said it before, man. You don't prepare for this. <laughs> um, I think the last 15 minutes of the first half is the coldest I've ever been on a field. Um, just soaked head to toe. and. Um, but, you know, I think that's where some mental toughness comes in, not just for me, but from, from our whole group. Uh, you know, just saying, who cares about the weather? You know, we got a job to do. And, um, you know, it's nice uh, coming back in here with the win, having dealt with the weather, and instead of ha- uh, coming back in with the loss, that's for sure. Last How was question. It? How is it going against uh, Luis Suarez? Uh, just obviously a great striker in his own right. Just how, how, how fun was that to go up against a guy like that? Yeah, I mean, listen, they got world-class guys on that team, and um, you want to play against the best. That's what we all want to do. And, uh, you know, Suarez, I thought we did a good job on him, but you could still see the class. If you fall asleep for half a second, he could punish you. So we had to be on top of him all game, and, you know, it was nice we were able to do that. Sorry, last question over here. And just quick thoughts on going in front of the sellout crowd Yeah, listen, our fans have been amazing. These have been, I've been here 13 years. It's two of the most miserable games weather-wise that I've been a part of here. Um, and, and both times our fans really showed out. So, man, we, we, we appreciate it more than, than we could even say. So when they get behind us um, and, and we put on a good performance and things come together, I think the sky's the limit for this team and this club.